Dana, another week. We've got five fights, five finishes, and we were just talking about it. This show is just awesome. Incredible. Incredible fights again. You know, uh, much respect to everybody who fought tonight. Thank you. And uh, what we're going to do is... I, I, I love Juan Adams. We're going we're gonna to definitely take Juan Adams. We, we love this kid. Um, Ian is uh, now 11-1. and one. He looked incredible. We're definitely taking Ian. And the main event, I love Roosevelt's story. I love the way this kid fights. And you don't realize, but Garrett has 42 fights, amateur and pros, 42 fights. Roosevelt has 12. He looked incredible tonight. Uh, I'm in. We're taking Roosevelt. And what's crazy is we're sitting here, and there was 45 seconds in between the... Uh, you know, while the feature played, and I was watching the highlights, and you know what, I just changed my mind. I'm gonna take Jordan Griffin, too. <laughs> Dana, uh, <laughs> he, just, he just said, sorry, Sean, Sean Schultz is standing right there going, oh my gosh. Dana, just an absolutely incredible night. Let's talk about Juan Adams for just a second. I, the UFC needs heavyweights, and he is such a big, literally, personality. What kind of impact do you think he can make on that division? Yeah, I like his attitude. I like his fighting style. Uh, you know, two big boys going at it like that. His cardio was unbelievable. He did not stop throwing punches or, or moving until the fight was finished. You don't see that with a lot of heavyweights, and uh, we were impressed, and we like him, and he's in. And a guy like Ian Heinish in that middleweight division, I feel like he probably checks a lot of the boxes when it, terms, when it comes to thinking about someone that can really become a star in the UFC. Yeah, and it's, it's one thing to come in to a fight and, uh, and impress and perform, um, but when you're going up against opponents like these guys went up against tonight, all tough fights, all very, very tough, durable guys who wanted it equally as bad, and when you pull off the type of performance, tonight it's hard to say no Dana thank you so much and good job pulling that audible there <laughs> you're the boss for a reason <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much four contracts handed out again as you look at Ian Heinish he's the first guy I've seen on the contender series wear a full suit yes uh, and look at him he's like there's my outfit I'm ready to go I got it done uh, he's walking over to Laura Senko right now again one of the special things about this show you get to see that real genuine emotion not only from the fighters but from their family members and here's Ian Heinish give Laura a big hug oh my gosh Ian what an incredible night for you yes. It's hard to encapsulate, I tried to do it earlier, it's hard to encapsulate everything that you have been through to get to this moment. What, I know your family is such a huge part of that and they're here tonight, what's your message to them? Um, I just love them, they, they believed in me when no one did. When I was at my lowest point, rock bottom, everyone forgot about me and they stuck with me and you know, God's brought me here and, and, and look at the journey. Now the journey really begins, so. Honestly. You're the first guy I've interviewed in a, in a suit. You certainly look the part. LFA champs have done very well in the UFC. You think you can do the same? Oh, yeah. You know, I came here for a job interview. I got the job. And uh, I want to just say, I'm, I feel like I'm the king of contender series. And I'm calling out every middleweight that has made it from the contender series to the UFC. That's all I want to fight for a while. If that's what Dana wants, and that's what I want. So let's do it. Congratulations. Go Thank enjoy you. that contract. Thank you. Come on back, Jordan. Congratulations. Oh my word. I know representing your, your Native American heritage is so important Woo! for you. You've got that Bad River tribe watching back home. What's your message to them? Guys, I made it. <laughs> I'm here and I can't wait to come visit everybody and, uh, and celebrate. What did you think when you're sitting back there listening to Dana talk and uh, you heard your name called and the way it was? I was like, this is unreal. <laughs> I was like, no way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> Congratulations, awesome. man. Thanks for taking a second. <laughs> All right, Juan, come on back. Hey. hey. You did it, man. Yeah, I did it. Juan Adams, wow, you came out here and made such a huge statement. Certainly not a guy that is short on confidence. You're going into the UFC. What is your message to that division? Uh, you know, just be ready. You're all going to enter the abyss sooner or later. I don't care what order I fight you. I don't care who I fight. You know, I'm here and I'm here to stay. 
I want to know what the Kraken's doing for an after party. Oh, well, you know, normally when you go out and drink, you got to go to Taco Bell afterwards. Well, I found out here there's a Taco Bell cantina, and that's two things that I love very much, you know, <laughs> liquor and tacos, cheap tacos at that. So I'm going to do that. But, you know, all this time during my weight cut, I was looking up dessert spots to eat in Vegas, and uh, we already went to Milk Bar, but uh, Milk ba or Cream Berry. All right. Cream Berry's got those. They've got ice cream tacos. So we're definitely hitting that place up. We'll go get a nice shower, clean up a little bit, throw the romper on. We'll see what happens. <laughs> well, wash out Creamberry. I, feel, I have a feeling that you could probably down a lot of Creamberry, if I had to guess. Yeah, yeah, go, en go enjoy that dessert. <laughs> Roosevelt, come on back. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank what a moment. You. I know we just talked, but as you said, you have been through so much to get to this spot, to get that contract. What's going through your mind? Man, it's just it's like a dream come true, you know. I just wish my cousins were here to see it, you know what I mean? Uh, Cause they would have been in the stands with me, you know what I'm trying to say. So, you know, but I know they see me, and you know it feels good. You do have a lot of supporters here. I saw you hugging your family. Uh, who's out there? Uh, my mom, my dad, my little brother, my big cousin, uh, my uncle Van, um, my coach Jesse, which is his wife, um, Melissa, uh, which is a good friend of mine. You know, you know we're gonna work on that. But, you know, uh, my coach Adam. <laughs> Hey, Melissa. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you know, everybody back home, you know, who, who support me, you know, thank you. Thank you, everybody who came. My professor, Sean, you know, I know you see me. Hello, Jalen Turner. You know, you're supposed to get it, too. I know you see me, too, so you're going to get there. Well, Roosevelt, we cannot wait to see you inside the Octagon. Congratulations. Uh, sure, you can. Mike Trezano, Sean Shelby, Dana White. Tell him I'm looking for him. Mike Trezano, you know, he went to a tough house. I'm looking for him. I'm 6-0. He's, I think, 8-0. Let's get it.